Okay, here we are. Bar this is Bomberman 2. Um, you can see it works just fine, but there's no sound. Uh, but hopefully we're going to fix that today. It's kind of weird playing the screen. I'm actually playing the game. Uh, looking at the screen through the camera, which is kind of weird, <laughs> to say the least. But uh, as you can see, I mean, the game works fine. So let's try and see if we can add some sound. There it is. There's the inside, and I just knocked the little buttons all over the place. And those were not easy to get in place, unfortunately. But I'll have to put all this stuff back later. But here's the uh, here's the guts. Here's the inside. As long as I don't mess with these, it should be okay because these are these are aligned. These buttons are aligned, so definitely don't want to uh, to screw with that. Okay, so here is our little amp board. It's a TPA 2016D2. Uh, I got it from Adafruit. It's a 2.8 uh, watt amp. And I think it's made by Texas Instruments. Um, it supports I squared C control, so that could be useful for us, being that we are using a Raspberry Pi. I think we'll be able to interface with this uh, later uh, to control volume. For example, but for now I'm just gonna hook it up and see <laughs> see if I can get any sound at all. So um, right over here, right over here, you got left and right. This is where the uh, speakers are gonna hook up to. Uh, they made it kind of big so you can put in these terminal blocks, um, but I'm not gonna use those. I'm just gonna solder the speakers directly on here. smoke it's nothing for you there you go the um, speakers are now plugged in so uh, let's get some power and um, some wire to hook up the input okay now we're going to solder in the, the wires for the body bolts in and the um, ground Apologize, I can't really, uh, don't really have a good way of getting this camera in here any closer or uh, any better than I have it set up right now. Uh, something I think I need to work on in the future, but uh, now the uh, power's done, so we'll, uh, we'll do the wires for the audio input next. See what I'm doing here is for the uh, the left and right channel, the um, the ground. I'm just gonna jump at this cable here, and then um, solder it into here because uh, we only need one. And for the uh, the positive 
on the left and right channel, I'm just going to use some yellow wire. There you go. Okay, so you can see I just kind of jumped these two leads together into a single wire and I put down a little heat shrink tubing um, just to you know, make it look nice. Probably not the safest way to do it, but hey, it worked. Okay, I got the pipe booted up now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just hook this up temporarily uh, with a bunch of uh, jumpers. And uh, just to make sure this works before I uh, solder everything together. Bomberman, great game. As you can see, it seems to be working. It's kind of high uh, output for these little speakers, but um, it'll work. I think this works okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wire this up, solder in the leads. Um, what might work better later, I may need to add um, a filter cap on the DC input. Uh, there's a slight kind of buzz and that could be due to the to a ground loop, so um, adding a little um, electrolytic cap and resistor between the positive and negative input voltage on the amp would probably take care of that. Uh, but as you can see, it seems to work okay. Um, later, we'll work on getting the um, I squared C controls to uh, be able to adjust the gain. Okay, it's all soldered in. Seems like it works great. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Bogus. Totally bogus. This is a bad game. Don't play this game. Okay, you gotta put back together again. We're gonna open up this uh, NES test cart. Hey. I hope the microphone's picking this up, but it's got sound, baby. Alright. Joystick. A. B. Start and select. All the buttons are working. I think we have a winner here, folks. So, yeah, that was very, very easy to, um, to hook up. Uh, if you were competent enough to put this together, you're competent enough to add this little amplifier. Uh, it, there's really not much to it. Um, just hooking the power and, um, you know, the, the audio input and hook up the speakers, that's it. There's not a lot of room in this case for the extra board or the speakers. I think what I'm going to do is take... Uh, Adafruit's design for at least the at least the front part of the case and tweak it a little bit um, and I'll post a link to that whenever that's done whenever I can get around to it um, that'll give a little bit of extra room for this this amplifier 
um, if you want to try this yourself like I said I got these parts from Adafruit but you can probably pick them up at like Spark Fun or or any number of other places try different amps um, different things different speakers see what works best for you and uh, hey, if anybody is really skilled uh, with I2C or I, I uh, squared C um, leave a comment uh, touch base with me maybe we can make this into something even more useful um, it would be great if we could have something like maybe a a Python program that runs that uh, actually monitors this touch display so that you could touch it and maybe it brings up a menu and lets you go back into the emulator once you start it or a button to shut down and buttons for like um, uh, increasing the gain or lowering lowering the gain so uh, up and down volume control that could be really cool so uh, I think this this project you know it's just getting started it seems to me that it has a lot of potential so hey if you wanna give me a hand <laughs> that would be awesome hope you enjoyed it so yeah that's it, it it's it's working we've got sound now well, that's great and like I said, if, if uh, anybody can give me a hand with the, um, maybe writing something in Python, like I said, to have a menu, maybe, and being able to adjust the volume, maybe take uh, a button for a save state, or a screenshot, or things like that, or maybe, uh, maybe a small menu that loads up uh, Wi-Fi settings so you don't have to try to hook it up to a USB keyboard or SSH into it to uh, tell it to connect. Maybe it could load up a very simple menu that would say, oh, here's the available access points. And hey, maybe it could have an on-screen keyboard or something like that. And so it seems like uh, uh, there's a lot more that this could do. I'm just not competent enough to do it. So hey, get on board with me and let's see how far we can take this thing. And don't forget to thumbs up. Uh, subscribe so you can watch more videos from me and my daughters and um, follow me on Twitter Facebook yada 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 um, thanks and have a great weekend